the three times drill. This is a drill that was created by Demetrius Gelatis. He is an instructor out of Minnesota. He has a boot camp that he does out there. Uh, I think he has a, a new club that's out of there. Uh, so congratulations to him. Also, uh, he's one of the hosts on uh, Queue It Up Network, which is where I heard about this drill. I have been doing it for about six months. Uh, I do it once or twice a week, and I'm telling you, it's incredibly humbling, eye-opening, and it, it has really improved my ability to look at a layout and sort of uh, extract the most optimal pattern uh, for position play. Because if you don't hit position on this drill well, guess what? You're out of line. You got to come with a recovery shot. And not just once, but three times. So here's how this works. All right, so I got three balls on the table. Just put them out on the table. Uh, so we're running three balls. Easy. One, two, three balls. No big deal. I can run a nine ball rack, I think, sometimes, maybe. Listen, I'm shooting this one ball three times. I'm going to take the worst position. I'll repeat, the worst position from shooting this ball three times. I'm going to mark where the cue ball ends up, and then I'm going to shoot the two ball from the worst position three times. The position from the two ball to the three ball, take the worst position three times. Shoot the three ball three times, right? And then I'll probably try to get on an imaginary four ball somewhere. You will quickly realize how your position play devolves into something where you just gotta, you gotta catch up all of a sudden. Let's mark it, boom. For safety reasons, I think I want to get the cue ball more center table, right? and then go two rails towards position on the three ball for that corner. If I come down past the shot line here, I have to cross the next shot line and or flirt with the side pocket. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to try to get more center table position, maybe even left side of the table. I got to think about stretching too. These are things that you think about more and more. The more I do these drills, it's, it's, it's more about the percentage, not just in the shot itself, but in where's my body, right? What's my goal? Can I get the stroke out in the way that I need to from the middle of the table? So let's give it a shot. Right? It's pretty good center table. I think a little more angle might have been easier. Let's mark this cue ball. Bam. Now guess what? Going back to the one ball. Let's shoot it. Okay, go, 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 go. That's, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with that. This is a pretty good scatter. Scatter meaning um, the vicinity in which a group of balls might, might go. Half a diamond, one diamond, two diamond radius uh, from any particular uh, shot. Oh, no. I felt myself overhit that one. I really felt it. So these were good. Great. I hit it two times. I got it. I'm really good. Nope. I suck. Look at this. You guys, this is the perfect example. Perfect example of why running just three balls with this drill is difficult. That's definitely the one I got to take, right? So what am I do? What's my options? Well, I could try to use left spin and creep down table short side on the three ball with high inside. Get over here. Make it kind of a speed shot. I can go up and down the table. Kind of have to curve the cue ball to do that. I don't like any of those options. Oh, I hate this. This is so, why did I decide to make this video? This is so dumb. Good job, Nate. Whoa. Oh, I really wanted to get closer to this diamond to get more like in line with the three ball. Obviously that didn't happen. So let's mark. Oh man, I'm, I'm in trouble. This is bad. The capital. Ah. Nope. Almost the same. <laughs> I really tried to get in the ball more. Obviously, I didn't. Got a little more spin. All right. Sort of. Gotta take this shot. Let's say the four balls down here. I gotta dig into this ball uh, uh, close to the rail again. Quite happy with that, actually. <laughs> I would call this a recovery shot. Think about recovery shots. Usually they're not very repeatable, but I guess 
Hopefully I can prove myself wrong here. Let's try this one more time. No! Ah! Ah! Okay, so I hit it a little thin. Listen, this is the exact reason why this drill is so good. So obviously I didn't shoot too well today. That's fine. I, I think this is a, a, a better demonstration if I don't shoot that well. So if there's anything to take away from this, it's that pool is hard. Not every shot is a gimme and not every layout is a gimme. It has been a journey for me to understand that you can't operate like breaking and running one rack of nine or 10 ball or whatever is enough to call yourself a good player. That's not really the goal. The goal is to understand the table and to put in the work, make this doable, right? Can't make three balls, three balls. And as much as I might be not so happy with how I shot here. It's a better demonstration to to really showcase why you're you're not good. I'm not good. You have to treat every shot like it's difficult because guess what? It is. I know why I got so preachy all of a sudden. But anyway, try this drill. It's great. Thank you, Demetrius, for this drill. Uh, uh, go check out his his boot camp. I think it's at MN Pool Boot Camp. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, try it. <laughs> Happy shooting.